Hi friends, it's Melissa here with Snugglebugs. Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk all things product reviews, comparisons, anything to help instill confidence in your parenthood journey. So today I am so excited to be talking to you about the Nanit Pro Baby Monitor and Wall Mount. This is a friend favorite for a reason. And if you're anything like me, when I was expecting, I did so much research on baby monitors because there's so many options out there and you can get, there's such a vast array of quality, of camera quality that you can get. Do I want a handheld device? Do I not want a handheld device? Wi-Fi monitors are now all the rage. So let's get into the Nanit Pro baby monitor and wall mount. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about what you're gonna get when you purchase your new Nanit monitor. We're going to talk about what the in-app experience looks like, and we're gonna lead you through a full install on the wall, step-by-step, -step, tools included. Okay, so let's start from the top with the baby monitor itself. The Nanit offers such great picture quality. It's 1080p, I've seen the night vision myself, it's amazing, and it just, has all of the functions that you would like. So you've got two-way audio, you've got zoom capabilities. Within the app, you can actually take an image to capture it for later. So those are some really great features that come with just the monitor. Then you're also getting that full mounting kit, which includes your cable covers and all of the installation pieces that you need. The only thing you really need for install is a drill. The other thing that comes in the box is this great breathing band. So this can be used for zero to three months. You're gonna put it just around baby's torso when they're sleeping, and this will actually communicate directly with your Nanit app, and it will alert you if there's any disruption in breathing so that you can tend to your baby right away, which is so great for peace of mind in those early days where you might be a little sleep deprived. <laughs> and you're going to get one year of free insights on the Nanit app, which is such an incredible feature. All right, let's get into the install of your Nanit Pro baby monitor. So in order to install, you'll need a few tools, a pencil, a power drill with a five millimeter drill bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a dusting cloth. When you're ready to install, Position your crib against the wall where you'll mount the Nanit. Using the mounting template, find the center of your crib and mark the center line on the wall. Then move your crib away from the wall. Using the mounting template, pull it straight from the ground up, align with the center line, and mark the height position on your wall at 66 inches or 167 centimeters tall. Drill a hole in the marked spot. If you're installing in drywall, insert an anchor until it's flush with the wall. In this case, since we're installing into wood, we're not using the drywall screw, but if you're installing into a standard wall or there's wallpaper on, you will be installing with the drywall screw. Insert a screw into the anchor and screw in halfway. Hang the mounting bracket on the screw, then adjust it using the built-in level. Once level, mark the wall through the two bottom holes in the bracket. Remove the mounting bracket, drill the holes in the two marked spots. Insert your anchors if installing in drywall until flush with the wall. Hang the mounting bracket back onto the top screw. Insert and tighten first the bottom two screws, then tighten the top screw. Place the wall mount over the mounting bracket and press it flush against the wall. Then slide the wall mount down until it clicks. All right, now that we have our mount installed for the camera, we're going to move into securing the cable covers to the wall so that all of those cords are out of reach for your little one. So the cables just click together. You're gonna click six down, and then you're gonna use the elbow piece to round the corner, and you're gonna click the remaining cables together in the direction of your power outlet. Once the cables are all ready to go, you're going to remove the adhesive to secure them to the wall, then your last step is to put your Nanit Pro monitor onto the mount and plug in and then take it over to the Nanit app where we can finish off the install process. 
All right, my friends, now we have our beautiful Nanit Pro baby monitor mounted to the wall over our crib, looking absolutely beautiful. So let's get into the next step, which is actually installing the Nanit app and setting that up so that you can get right to monitoring baby. Okay, so here we are in the Nanit app. To get to this point, I just downloaded the Nanit app from the App Store. I set up my account and I connected it to my Nanit camera. So within the app, you've got so many great features. You can obviously the bird's eye view of baby here. You've also got your temperature setting that tells us it's a nice 24 degrees Celsius. You've got your humidity monitoring and you've got all of your settings and notifications built into this space. So on the top left here, this is where you're gonna set baby settings. You can add additional cameras if you've got multiple children. You can change you know, the units of measurement that you're using. And then on the right side of the screen, on these three dots, this is where you can actually turn on night mode for your camera so that when you yourself are sleeping or potentially not using your phone, it's going to allow your screen to go black but keep it unlocked so that you're still getting your notifications and your alerts about baby. Within the app itself, you've also got this bell, which is gonna show you all of your notifications around movement and sound. And then in the bottom of the screen, you're actually gonna see in this menu here, the activity center, which shows you again by day, which is great all of the sound, motion detection, and little video snips of when caregiver is helping baby. You've also got in the bottom menu your dashboard, which is gonna show you for each day, week, or month, their total time in bed, time asleep, how many naps they had, a summary of their day and their evening, and some really great graphics to help you understand baby's sleep patterns in those early days. You've also got an option for inbox as well as memories where you can track some of those pictures and videos that come about through your Nanit monitoring. So within the live view itself, you can select baby's image, you can zoom in and out, which is great. You can take a photo using the camera button. You can play some ambient sounds. You've got your two-way audio, volume controls, as well as this great nightlight feature which allows you to use ambient light in the nursery when you need to tend to baby in the night. Within the app is where you're also going to set up your Nanit Insights and any breathing wear accessories that you have. So with the Nanit Pro baby monitor and wall mount, you get that breathing band with it. So you're just gonna select this start toggle to set up all of those additional accessories to help you monitor baby's breathing throughout the evening. You've also got access to growth metrics and events. So there you have it, a full overview, install, and in-app experience of the Nanit Pro baby monitor and wall mount system. We absolutely love this video monitor. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and check out the description below because we've got links to the product, any of our Learning Center content and more below. Thanks, bye.